Is it just me, or does anybody else feel like we are seeing the return of the once aggressive and feisty version of Lewis Hamilton as of late? I'd say that since 2020, we have grown accustomed to Lewis Hamilton being very reserved in comparison to how he once was before, and that we have seen him be less aggressive in both his personality off the track, and also his driving style on the track too. And for me, this was evidently shown throughout the 2021 season where he was always being the mature driver, constantly avoiding contact with Verstappen's audacious dive bombs, and there were many times where I wished that Lewis would have been more aggressive and given Verstappen a taste of his own medicine. And I believe that this is why myself and other fans were so glad with how Hamilton raced at Silverstone that year, as it was the first time in a long time where Lewis actually got his elbows out and matched the aggressiveness of the way that other drivers would race him. But fast forwarding to this current point, it seems as if Lewis has tapped back into that aggressiveness that he has displayed throughout his McLaren days, and parts of his Mercedes days too, and this was evidently on display during the Japanese Grand Prix. The way in which Lewis defended from George from the second Degner going into the hairpin was great, as well as his brave defense along the spoon curve to force him out wide was impressive. Lewis was then passed by Russell going into Casio Triangle, but Lewis refused to be beaten as he slipstream Russell going down the pit straight, and gave him a little nudge before breaking for the first corner. And likewise, Lewis's belligerence in his attacking was on full display, as he confidently passed his long-time rival and championship competitor of Fernando Alonso going into 1.30 or flat out 2. And Hamilton's militancy didn't just end on the track, as we saw in the interviews after the race that he still has that fire in him, as he made slight digs towards George Russell's position the championship standings, as well as justifiably calling out the team on the importance of them needing to make progress on development if they want any chance of catching Red Bull and even the McLarens. The, uh, beat the Ferraris in a constructor championship. That's all that matters. We're not fighting for a driver's position in championship because firstly, we're not close. And secondly, we're not fighting for the championship. So. And I'm really trying to hold on to, I've scored the most points for the team. I'm really trying to hold on for the, the constructor's title because I know how important it is for everyone in the background. We're slow. There are things that I've asked for that, uh, that we've gone... In a, in a direction, in part, in part of the direction for next year. I, I mean, I have no idea where the car's going to be next year, but we're a long, long way away. We've got to, we've got to hope for uh, the next six months has to be the greatest six months of development that we've ever, ever had. And it didn't end here too, as Lewis reinforced that he was going to visit the factory back in Brackley to ensure that the team are developing the car in the way in which it needs to be developed. It's finally refreshing to see this side of Hamilton and I think it's very much needed at this point, as Mercedes have not improved over the past two years, and I feel as if they are too comfortable and therefore need a kick up the backside. And to add to this, George Russell also needs to learn his place within the Mercedes team, and maybe the only way he will understand this is if Lewis forcibly shows him on track.